G'day guys, thanks for joining us to our very first ever unboxing video. So excited about this one, you know, because we've actually, uh, it's been in the plan for a while to do YouTube clips and stuff like that. So we thought, when doing a YouTube clip, you need good lighting. That's like the number one rule, besides awesome microphones. But you can get away with smartphones nowadays, right? Absolutely. You see people use smartphones. But we thought we'd go and spend some cash on a three-point lighting kit, and it's just arrived. So we thought, hey, kill two birds, one stone, with an unboxing. Right? Absolutely. How much did this kit cost us? So it was $139.95 off of eBay and it comes with a 3,425 watt system, five head, uh, five head socket. So, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what any of that actually means, so uh, this is going to be interesting to have a look let's, at. Let's uh, get this open here with the, uh, oh, yep, the trusty little. Oh, let's hope I don't cut anything. Is it blunt? Right. I'm just going to stand well back. Next time we use an axe. There we go. So really excited about this because I don't know if you can see at the moment, we've got a little bit of uh, shadowing happening down here and hopefully something like this will actually fix that. All right. Wow. And there we have it, a generic, what is this one called? Cowboy Studio. Indeed. Cowboy Studio. So this is the Cowboy Studio three-point lighting kit, which means basically you've got one light here, you've got one light here, and one above as well. So what we'll do is we'll give this a quick unboxing and see what we get in it. Well, for number one, we get a nice carry case. Check this out, all right. So actually quite a lot of uh, wow, bulbs and everything here. So this, um, being that they've got the two main lights, has five bulbs in each. Oh Head, wow, no right? way. Yep. So let's uh, let's start with, I dare say this is going to be one of the, let's this aside here. This here is going to be one of the heads in which, yes it is, all right. So here you get 240 volt, well here in Australia it's 240 volt. Overseas I think it's about 110. So you get your, what's called pig face cable with, uh, does it have a rocker switch? No rocker switch on that one. I dare say, so all the switches are both going to be on the back of this. Uh, oh, look at this. Thing. Thing. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Let's have a little look here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here you go. You can see that this has the five bulb input and it comes with a fuse, which is great. So we'll have to put all that together. Uh, individual switches on the back here as well, which is nice. So brighter, uh, if not darker depending on, I guess, the uh, look of the film that you're trying to do, or photo shoot. So we're talking, uh, what, five of these, these bad boys? Yeah, five, let's get one out. Have a little look. How many watts are these here? So this is um, 30, 35, I don't know what it, it's uh, not gonna tell us here, but there's different options, 30, 35, okay. or 45, which equals 30 at 150 of a normal bulb, 35 at 175, and 45 at 225. So. Oh, it's nice that it comes in uh, styrofoam as well. So pretty well. That's packaged really well. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah. There that's nice. So a few of those, uh, five in each head. So I guess that would just be a, a simple... Oh yeah, nice. Screw in. That's excellent. All right, so having a look at that. So this is one head down, which is great. What else did we get in here? Let's have a little look. All right, so we've got plenty of those, uh, those bowls. And we've got... It looks like another one of the... Um, uh, same, yeah, yep. on the head of the... So they're for the two main lights, the, yep. the left and right, I'd say. And a photographic lamp one. Ah, uh, so that one there, do you want to get that one out? That one would be for the overhead, the oh, third yeah. overhead. So I'm sure there's a technical headlight. word for this. Headlight? Headlight? Headlight. Let's have a little look here. Oh, that's a mammoth one, isn't it? Look at that. So basically, um, it's a single bulb in the above head. So let's have a little look at some of these here. Yeah, grab that out. So I dare say that's going to be one of the, that's going to be the above one because it's uh, quite a large looking one. Oh, nice. Yeah, another. Uh, okay, and it's actually got a rocker switch on this one. So yeah, so okay. it's inbuilt into the actual 240 volt. Uh, do you want to open that there? I think that's the shade which goes in front, almost like a filter. So does this, does this, the, the pack doesn't come with any instructions at all, does it? So uh, no, no, not that, um, figure out what yeah, not that I've piece. seen so far. 
So let's have a little look here. I'll just I'll see if I can reach in here and get this all sorted. Oh, look at that. It was that simple. Oh, wow. That's all I had to do is basically push that in. It's like an umbrella, really. And this bad boy so just goes push that in. Do you want to hold that? Let's uh, have a look, see what it looks like. This is what you do not want to drop. I'm holding your hand there. I know. You feel that? A little bit weird. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. That is a mammoth bulb, is it not? Yeah. So this is, I guess, the one which goes on the arm and holds above your subject's head to uh, give the... Uh, Dome oh, yeah, shine. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. Know, so yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, nice. Sweet. All right, so let's have a look. I'll just put this one aside here. So what's this for again? So, okay, sorry, yep, the shade. That goes over Bring the top of that, here. does it? So the shade goes over the front, yep, to give it like a, a filter effect, I guess, so okay. you're not getting the absolute Raw brightness light. from the bulb. Yep. Okay. But I think after this video, what we might do is set one up and talk about it. Absolutely. We'll set them all up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. So that actually has Velcro on the sides as well, right? Oh yeah, it does too, so you can actually, yeah, yeah. it does too. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, let's check that out. We'll put this stuff aside here, this is great. So how much was this kit again? 139.95. That's all right, this is an eBay special, so it's a generic brand. It I is. I guess it doesn't have, uh, it's not made by Olympus or anyone like that. So. No, nothing fancy, but yeah. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, so this is, okay, right. This is probably gonna be a bit more technical. I'm not gonna do this one right now, but the head, yeah, one of the five heads would come in through this section here. Can you hold that open for me? Yeah. Okay. So the head would come in through here, and oh, then yep. you the, would, the round, um, then these bits would actually go into here gotcha. in the four places. Yep. Uh, we can set that up a little bit later, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, nice. Right. All right. So that would be a repeat of that one, the other one? Yeah, that would be another one there, yep. All right, so what do we got in this thing? I'm gonna say, let's say stand. Let's have a little look. Here we go. Now these aren't going to be high quality stands, but surely they're going to do the job. So let's have a little look here. Is it... <clears throat> okay. Do you want to let's pull on that? There we go. That's better. Yeah. Look at that. All right. That oh, it's got there. little rubber grommets on the bottom as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, good for the uh, wooden floors. Mm. You don't want to scratch those. So this actually goes up to about two meters, I believe. Oh yeah. I don't know if you want to light. That you know one. what, we've got to give it a go, right? We don't know. So let's let's bring that down on the floor and see actually how tall this goes. Alright, so this first stage. That's gonna be about 1.8 to 2, I'm gonna say. Yeah, definitely 1.8 to 2 meters. Okay. And we get two of those, right, in this pack. Plus as well, you would get the um the one which then comes over the top using a sandbag as a uh, yep. balance yep. for the one that has to hang over the top. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This, I guess, is the, the other... Um, uh, white meat? Yep. <laughs> the, <laughs> the other white meat. This here is the other stand, which is used for the one that goes above your head. So sorry about the noise, but we're going to open this up right now. All right, so this is... Yeah, okay, so these are all the clamps uh, in which uh, would sit on and then give you the 45 degree angle to come above your head at okay. you know, two meters tall. Then you would have this, which is your weight bag, ah, nice. right, to counterweight the, uh, the, the giant assembly above your head. So what we thought we'd do is we'd get one of these lights out and put it together and see how it goes. So uh, first of all, always put the fuse in, or the thing's not gonna turn on. Well, actually, you know what? It so, actually so came with a fuse. This is great. This is so I, I was actually thinking that they wouldn't have done that, but um, even better. See, right. I would have failed right there and not put the fusing, so I have no idea. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Right, so uh, we might do some speed runs here, just so you can uh, watch us put it together in, in quicker format. We'll put the lights in last. Yep, no, first we'll build this. Last. Yep, so let's, put in last. let's do the lights in last. Let's work.
And there we have it. <laughs> this was actually really painful to put together. Just like that. Yeah, as you can see. But we're there. It's not exactly what I would call um, see, perfect. I'm, I'm thinking we're all of these actually the same size. Yeah, 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 yeah they're definitely. So, um, just giving a little spin. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's a bit better. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So what we're actually going to do is we'll put the bobs in and we'll put it on the stand and see what it looks like. Yep. Shall we? All right, bob time. All right, coming back to it now. Basically, as you can see, we've got our five bulbs in. Now, um, these filters, we'll give that a go. So what they do is the dispersion of the dispersion of the light. So this uh, just pops over the top of, gotcha. We'll yep. see those, um, the, the Velcro in there should, um, bring that down a bit, eh? the Velcro, these, so these little fellas right here, come over. Oh, so you can get like a... Oh, you know those things you were thinking yeah, like, oh, yeah. what are they? That's what they are. Goes right there. I don't know how I feel about that resting it's on It's very that. close to it, isn't it? It is very, yeah. Of, uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's going to go over coverage. there. Yeah. Yep, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let's put that on there. All the way over. All right. There you go, should be uh, Velcros as well. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. We've built our own light box. <laughs> That's awesome. So as you can see uh, through the back, you still have full control of the device at the back. So I've uh, pre-set up a little stand here. Let's have a look at this one. And i um, not gonna hit you. So as you can see, we've got this now set up. We've got the fuse uh, in the back here and switches for the five individual globes at the same time. So we'll, uh, we'll give this a go. Let's plug her in. We have power. One, two, three, four, and five. And we didn't get electrocute ourselves either. <laughs> this Amazing. is a good thing. Holy crap, that looks All cool. right. That's uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's actually uh, the continuous, continuous lighting. Um, there you go. Camera, I'm sure, but yeah, no, that's great. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, we'll angle this next to the camera so you can see the difference in the lighting from what we've got now with just one, one of these lights on. All right. Okay, so now we're going to look at putting the headlight, uh, the tall one that sort of hangs above us together. So we're going to have a crack at that right now. All right. So let's uh, let's give it a go. On. So let's have a quick look at this assembly you've got here. So you've got multi, so you got the, the boom arm, which I guess comes up over the head, and you've got this part here, which gives you angles. Yeah, it let's, looks like it. Looks like it's going to sort of sit. Something on those. So if we chuck it on the stand now, you'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like. So all right, then you've got a counterweight. Yep. Uh, so we'll hang the uh, sandbag that comes with the pack as well. So fill that up with some uh, soil or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hook that onto this little bad boy. Weights, here. fishing weights, whatever. Okay. If that had a weight, if that had a weight, that would stay there quite well. Yep. But let's, uh, you know, we'll take a break for a second. We'll be right back. We'll put some weights in and see what it looks like. Thanks uh, for the, the time. But basically, it took us about 10 minutes to get this thing together. Yeah. I uh, really had to work on the counterweight, um, which I ended up using nuts. Um, to, As you can see, if I'm just letting this one go now, 
it's actually leaning a fair bit. So the counterweight plays a huge part in this because at full extension, it is actually quite heavy. Mm. Right? So um, what we'll do now is we'll just give it a little, there we go. So, right? See? Yeah, yeah, that works. So what we'll do is we'll put this up now. Let's, uh, do, do you want to hold that side yep. down? We'll raise this up, see how it looks. So go up as high as we can, bring it into the center. Stay. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. Only, the only issue that we found when we were putting it together though, I suppose, is the, uh, the, the section which holds the, the boom arm in there um, needs some sort of um, cohesive to keep it in there. Otherwise this this gonna, part here, we actually yeah. ended up using some of the uh, plastic which the, uh, the parts were wrapped in because if it was rubber in here, it would stop the sliding down, which would have been perfect, but yeah. unfortunately, it didn't have rubber in there. Yep. So by using that and tensioning it with this, um, it's all staying together now. So yep. what we might do is quickly put a filter on here, uh, which came with it, and we'll just see what it all looks like, and we'll do a quick test of without these lights and with these lights. Perfect. Be right back. Welcome back, guys. Thank you very much. Now, we've done a little bit of rejigging here because we want to show you what the lights are like without and with. Uh, versus your normal above kitchen lights. So this is with, we've got uh, three points of lighting right here. Um, and now we'll go without. So, <laughs> ew, it's quite dark as you can see. Oh. And then it's back. So it's actually, it makes quite a big difference, you know, having, you know, the two lights semi you know, in front of us here and, and this one above. Mm. But uh, look, how much did this cost us again? Uh, 139. 139. 139. How many watts? 3,425. Let's do that. Mm. Right, the only other thing that we did buy, which we haven't talked about, which a lot of YouTubers do use, um, or DIY make one yourself, is a background. As you can see, this is quite crap, but it did only cost us 39? 39 bucks. Mm. All right, for, for 39 bucks, you get the two stands, and then you get the three meter pole that goes across, which can also be shortened to two meters. But that's like that amount of money. I would rather just buy stands like this and then probably replace the fabric because the fabric is not the greatest. So we want a more solid fabric that's gonna keep light from the back side of it coming through, that yeah. sort of stuff. And this this one obviously you can see it's like folded and pretty yeah. terrible. And when it came to us, it did look like the screens came like this, folded quite sharply. And that's probably why we do see you know this type of action but it, i mean i did try ironing that's right I tried to <laughs> iron, uh, but it doesn't come out and i think i melted the screen as well so uh yeah there we go that's our first unboxing and a little uh a little look at the product yeah so i hope you enjoy the lighting yep. and uh, you're going to see a lot more from us d1 dlc uh coming up soon Definitely. and we'll hopefully be able to put all of this into action and um, get some nice interviews and some uh, maybe some product reviews for yeah. you soon subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much for joining us and you guys have a good day